Hi everyone, Chris Knight here with a quick little tutorial on giving yourself a clean background. So what we've got right here is a uh, nice shot of a guy, but there are some dirty elements to the background that we want to go ahead and clean up. Now, sometimes you do want to keep some of these character features of the background. For example, in this case, we've got a shadow in the bottom left-hand corner, and sometimes you definitely want to keep that, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. There are some times, however, that you want to have perfectly clean backgrounds, and here is how you do it. So, first thing we do is we go over into our Channels tab, and we thumb through these to find the one that gives us the best contrast from the background. It is usually the blue channel. Now, what we can do right here are a couple of different steps. We can simply hit command click on the channel to load it into a selection and work on a mask from there. We can also go ahead and duplicate this channel and we now have an alpha channel that we are able to manipulate and come back to at any given time. So, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit Command L or go to Image Adjustments and Levels and we're just going to increase the contrast here. Now we have to be really careful about this spot right here so because the, the, the skin needs to be darker than the background and we have to be careful over here so that this type of shadow doesn't start to encroach on the shadow here. We're going to come back and fine tune this a little bit more later. We also have to be really careful about the hair up here in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to play with the contrast to give us maximum separation between all of those different elements. Alright, that looks pretty good. Now, my second step is I like to fill the background with white white in a mask, reveals, and black hides. So our subject is going to need to be black and the background is going to need to be white. And I just make a quick selection of the background and I go ahead and I fill my background color using Option Delete, which fills foreground in this case is the white. Now I'm going to do the exact same thing to my subject. I'm just going to make a quick little lasso selection all across the inside and I'm gonna fill this with black using the shortcut command delete which is filling my background color I'm gonna hit command D to deselect that now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to burn my shadows to give me a pure black here and I'm gonna dodge my highlights to do it up here and we can get kind of aggressive with this so I'm gonna to come to my burn tool I'm gonna to come to shadows and I'm just really gonna jack this up here and I'm just going to <clears throat> start to burn and I can get a little bit sloppy here but you don't want to get overwhelmingly sloppy or you run into problems like that I usually find that about 40 to 60 percent is pretty effective here. Now you'll notice we do have these problem little areas right here. We're going to have to come in and fix those manually. And you can also use a black brush to come in and clean up some of these areas as well. Now again, we're just getting it close because we're going to have to come in and fix this manually. And then down here, I'm just going to zoom in and I'm going to, let's hit that little spot right there. I'm going to come over here and use just a nice small edge and just paint this guy in. Being really careful to try our best to match the sharpness of the edge here with the sharpness of the edge that we've got throughout the rest of the image. That is very key. Let's go ahead and hit these little problem areas right here. That's great. 
and then I'm going to go ahead and start filling in the hair. And you'll notice this actually does a pretty good job. getting the hair. You will lose uh, some of the looser hairs when you do this. It's just inevitable. But it will do a pretty decent job overall. I'm going to use my brush here as well. Now, like I said, the neck and the face is a little bit more problematic. So what we're going to do right here, I'm just going to grab my pen tool. And I'm going to trace right along the inside. Now I may have to come back and fix some of this in just a moment, but let's go ahead and create, make a selection. I'm going to feather this by about 0.3 pixels and I'm going to fill this with black again. Now I can, if I'm really inclined, I can come through and I can try to fix some of these areas that I might have missed, but we can also come back to this later. It's not really a huge deal. All right. so. At the moment, I have this gray surrounding still needs to be white. So I can come to my dodge, I can come to my highlights, and again, using kind of a similar trick, I can come through here and start to clean this up. I can also hit Command L again, and you'll notice this right here represents my gray tone. So if I bring it just right past that, it'll allow me to clean it up pretty easily. All right. And I've got a couple little specks. Just need to make sure I have clean. And I've got this little corner piece right here. Now, the key to having a good cutout is making sure you have all your ducks in a row. Oops. All right. So that looks pretty good, I think. It looks pretty well cut out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to command click to load this into a selection. All right, so once we have this, we can come back to our channels. We can turn them all back on, and you'll notice that the subject is nice and uh, deselected. The background is the only thing that we have selected right now. So I'm going to come to my uh, little adjustment uh, options down here, and I'm going to grab a solid color. Now, what we can do here is we can leave this layer to normal and we can pick whatever we want and we can replace the background and it works really really well so it's a good easy way to get a cutout now what I like to do is sometimes you just want to keep it pretty close to how you had it so here's what we're gonna do we're just gonna hit OK and we're gonna close out of that I'm gonna turn the visibility off on my layer and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on this solid color, solid color fill layer right here. And I'm just going to select a background layer that's pretty close. So in this case, we've got this shade of gray. It's actually a slightly cool shade of gray. And I'm going to hit OK. And when you turn this on, it just does a really beautiful job of smoothing out everything. Turn it off and on. Great. Now, a couple things we can do here when it comes to replacing the background. First of all, we can leave it as is. We can come in here and we can pick whatever we color we whatever color we like. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. But what we can also do is we can push this a little bit further to give us a little bit more control, especially with the color. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by changing this blending mode to luminosity. What that means is it's only going to affect the luminance values of the background. So as of right now, it's actually using the exact same color tone as the background, which is fine. There's not really a huge difference, but sometimes we want to inject that color. So what we're going to do to inject the color is we're just going to duplicate this color fill layer. We're going to hit Command J. And we're going to change this from luminosity to color. And now what happens is we can actually come in here 
and we can pick our color. And you'll notice the luminosity never changes. It's only the hue and the saturation. And what this does, this affords quite a bit more control. So we can just come in here and we can sample this and let's say, hey, yeah, we want to make a background that is the color of the shirt. And that works nice and subtle and works really, really well. And you'll notice when you zoom into the hair, it looks pretty good. I mean, we lose a little bit in a couple of spots, especially over here. But overall, it actually does a pretty good job. And let's turn it off. Let me group these together. There we go. And on. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little tutorial on creating a clean and even background.